hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i want to talk about this uh, african lady that has uh, 44 children she's been on the news before she's been on a, a lot of uh, stories have come up about her and we've seen this and uh, people find the story amazing and um, her story has been covered by different people several times and all of that and initially i was like oh it was mind-blowing like i didn't even believe that she biologically like had 44 children she gave birth to but that's what the story is and recently i came across a video that uh, what they might what they might went to her and uh, he actually you know went the extra mile of uh, helping to redecorate the house and help them in one way or the other honestly that is absolutely commendable because no be only be the first person to see her from what we are seeing she's living the condition she's living in it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look amazing and uh, for someone to come not only to do an interview and show her, but at least extend that uh, extra hand of, okay, helping in one way or the other. But on the other hand, I want to speak on something. This may be an unpopular opinion, but that's fine. This is my opinion. You're free to share your opinion, you know, about this. My opinion is this. We shouldn't glamorize. We shouldn't. These children are here. Any help people want to render, go ahead and render it, you know, so that she can look after them and they will have the best life possible and all of that. Absolutely, I agree with that. I'm just saying. But the area I want to address is, you know, something like this should not be glamorized. Okay? Having 44 children, I don't know what, let's be honest. Having 44 children, it's one unnecessary. You see, in the olden days when people needed children to do farming, we saw, okay, she has extra hands in the farm. Right? This, we're not in that olden days anymore. Children now need to go to school, get an education, and be useful members of society. Children are expensive. You understand? Now, you know, we, why I want to say, you know, she's 44. There are some people that is 10, 12. Take a minute, a second, and listen to my message. Does anyone really need to have 44 children? Even if you have the money, it's even worse when you don't have the money. Life is tough. You understand? Then having 44 children without the money to give them a good life is wrong. It is absolutely wrong. Right? Now, if you even have the money, how many are you? You are one person. What about emotional connection with each child? myself with my number of children i remember when i was younger i used to say i'm going to have 10 children and i used to say it i was not hiding it when i started having children i had that 10 in mind i had the 10 in mind by the time i had the fourth child and i came back from the hospital when i had my fourth child my oldest was five about to turn five right and i basically had children back to back like this and I remember I came back from the hospital and this child was mom, 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 mom. This child was calling, that child was calling, that was, child was calling. And I realized for the first time that like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do it? I couldn't share my attention within four children. I couldn't. I have a newborn baby. And this child said, they were all like, Mom, this mom, and I, that was the first biggest eye opener for me. It's not about having them. How much of herself can she give to each child individually? Till today, with all my best effort, I still feel like I've not done enough. I still feel like that a lot of the time. So that's why I still feel like I'm not giving enough of myself as much as I would have loved to. Children are not like rabbits. You burn them, you this, you no. You know the way you have goats and rabbits or whatever you can buy. You can they can have um, as many children as they want, you know, as many babies as they want. You sell this, you eat some of the uh, rabbit, you cook some of the goat. No, 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 no. Children are human beings that have come to be part of your life. How many of these children can can you be part of their lives one on one? How many parents teachers meeting can you attend? How many of them can you sit down and do homework with? 44 children how many of yourself can you give to the children let's not even talk about the you putting your life on the on the line risking your life to keep betting to keep uh, giving birth to these children it's not easy it's risky the more children you have the higher the risk of one thing thank god you know a lot of people have good stories to tell 
Is it even do you, another mistake a lot of women make? You see, man, all a man needs to do is give you the juice. Boom. That's it. It doesn't affect him. It doesn't affect his health. But you are the one that will have to carry these pregnancies one after the other. Your body can never be the same. The, the stress it pulls on the... Do you know that mistake women make as well? It's not remembering that. It's actually good to have a good life as an individual. Have a good life as a woman. Do you know what it is to, to sometimes just be without children crying, mom, 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 left, right and center. 44 children, you're going to be raising children for the rest of your life. What is life at the end of the day? If you can have a breathing space that, okay, yeah, I brought children to this world. Okay, I've raised them. Let, let me they do something with my life. But when you keep having, when are you ever going to enjoy this life you came into? If you say, okay, you don't care about yourself. I say, I'm saying this thing generally. I happen, to, I happen to be using this woman's story as an example. Forget about it. It's okay, you don't care about yourself. If you care about children, this is how I feel about it. You should care enough to say, no, I will have as many as I can. Really be a mother to. Really be present in their lives. I remember when my children started school. On sports day, school sports day. I try not to miss it for anything. But by the time I knew it, four of them were primary school. I would run to the other side to go and Because all the students want you present though. They want you present to come and watch them run and see how they won the race or whatever position they take. They take pride in it. Me, only four that I had, right? Four children I went to their school sports day. That one is running there. Before I will run from one child's side, it's the same school. Before I will run from that side to go and watch that child, to go and, before I go to the other one, that one's already one. Oh, mom, you missed my own. I was in the other. I was looking for you. And then you're feeling guilty because you couldn't, you couldn't make it quickly enough to, not to miss it. Do you know what it is for children to come back from school and say, Mom, do you know my friend said, ah, da, 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 44 children cannot do that with you. They can't. Where is the space? Where are they good? Where would they start from? Right? And then another aspect, like I'm saying, even if as a woman you say, I don't care about myself, right? Let me tell you what ends up happening. The older children end up becoming parents. Children shouldn't be parenting. It's not like they can't help in the household. In my house, the older ones help. It's not like they can't help, but they shouldn't become the parents. They should enjoy being children, being young, and when they finally grow up and get married, they can do their own parenting of their own children. They shouldn't start becoming parents to their siblings already. Because whether you like it or not, in most cases, okay, in, for example, this woman, that, uh, uh, this one, when they showed the condition she was living in, I was saying to myself, why then did she keep having more children? If her condition was already like this, look at the bathroom, look at the rooms, look at the... And I'm like, why? And why, let me tell you, that woman already has her children. It has already happened. But what I'm speaking about is, I think, I, this is my opinion, it may not be your opinion, but this is my opinion. I think it's about time we start speaking against such kind of a mentality. Let's make it about quality rather than quantity. Somebody can have three children, four children, five children, you know, those are still, you know what I mean? The way you now start going and going and then get to 10 and get to, it becomes, I don't even have the words to explain it. Personally, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not a fan of it. I believe that the children will end up becoming just numbers. They, it can't happen. And, and, and I think, you see, my fear is this. This woman is becoming popular, popular. That can make people get carried away and forget the other aspect of it. And somebody else may be inspired to say, ah, let me go and try it. And by the time they're having the sixth child, they go into hospital and never come back. You know what, I'm, I really hope I'm saying it because I'm always trying to make sure I say the right words that I, I intend to say. My message is this, there is no need in this day and age for somebody to keep having children, as many as that. There's no need for it. There's one life to be lived. Are we trying to make sure we're having the number of children that we can actually care for, be there for? Are we just popping them out just for the numbers or what? You understand? So, like I said already, there's a difference between quantity and quality. When I look at this woman and I see the condition she's living in, there's no, I'm sorry, there's no quality in that. It's quantity. I'm not saying quality. It's not, this woman, I say it again. She has already done it. 
I cannot come here and condemn what she's done. It's past, it's past. Children are here, they have to be loved and cared for. But I'm just saying for somebody else that wants to think it's something nice, let my message speak to you today. It's absolutely unnecessary and it's unfair on the children. It's very, this is my opinion. It is very unfair on the children. Have the number of children that you know you can actively be able to be in their lives that you can afford. Don't bring children and they start living in terrible conditions. Children that you can afford and children that you can be in their lives. Like I said already, and I think I'll end it with that. You know, let's not make it about quantity. Let's make it about quality. Um, I don't know what your opinions are. As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to um, leave it in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.